Hello everybody, my name is Adam and welcome back to quite a unique Planet Zoo video today where we had a challenge, we had a goal and we had a competition and this competition and this challenge is run by, or should I say was run by Paulsley, now if you don't know who Paulsley is, he's another amazing content creator loads of Planet Zoo videos, you probably already know who he is if you're watching my Planet Zoo videos anyway, he pretty much is the king of Planet Zoo content creating well that was a bit difficult to say so he basically ran this challenge slash competition in his discord server and the challenge was to transform this area slash map slash mini zoo uh, designated area into a, a fully functional good looking zoo so basically he gave us um like a map with boundaries you couldn't go out the boundaries there was other certain rules as well as a bit of a challenge but of a competition and having a challenge and a, you know a bit of healthy competition um in planet zoo it really helps me it gives me a lot of motivation to play planet zoo and it gives me something to look forward to and right at the beginning, the very first thing I decided we needed for this zoo and this project was an information kiosk. So we went ahead and added that in at the start. Once the information kiosk was done, in place, designed and sorted, next thing I moved on to was creating our very first habitat. I believe we include three habitats. Um, three or four habitats total and um, this is me creating the first one so again just trying to keep the same design pattern and the same kind of look throughout the whole of the build so everything looks natural everything fits in and um, gives it that more realistic vibe and yeah everything like color coordinated so again just using um the peat like desert pieces and pieces out of the, out of the indian um theme and you know like like palaces and castles and stuff like that ends up coming out looking like and pyramids and very like Egyptian kind of theme and we ended up keeping that throughout the whole of the zoo and you can see me here just adding the first information point and the first uh, custom barrier of our our little project we got going so we end up adding some rope and some little details and it comes out looking pretty decent decent we've added this body of water and i believe we do end up turning this first habitat into it's either salt walk salt water crocodiles or get it right forgive me if i pronounce this wrong if i do pronounce this wrong drop a comment in the comment section telling me off um and how to actually pronounce it but is it gariel or gariel gariel yeah the, the, the you know you know what I mean, that animal. Uh, we ended up doing it for that. Um, I did think about saltwater crocodiles, but the others are uh, saltwater crocodiles are a bit, are a bit larger. And this was actually quite a small habitat. And you can see me here just picking. They've got some really good prefabs in the, um, the what Planet Zoo has created themselves for each pack. And I think this is for the South American pack. This this prefab. So we end up placing it down and altering it just slightly as you can see me here just taking little bricks out here and there to give it a more like rugged uh, like broken down look again just trying to fit in with the theme and uh, yeah we do end up adding another temple as well and it's a temple what I created previously I will show you in the end the, the temple and we ended up putting um, what's it called we end up putting about four or five exhibits in the other temple what looks similar to this but i'll show you all that in the end but yeah well it was weird so uh, you can see me now adding the habitat barrier in and there's me just reinforcing those boundaries what paul's has already put in to make sure i don't go over them and yeah just to make them look a little bit better as well i really didn't want to go over the boundaries and um, do anything i shouldn't really i wanted to keep you know 
I wanted to I wanted to play fur, and I'm very very excited to see how everybody else's um, habitats with this build come out looking. Um, I think Paulsley is streaming it, and I don't know if it'll be live on YouTube or Twitch yet. Um, I don't think he's said yet, but he will be streaming it, and uh, after the winner is announced and showing everyone's um, everyone's build off so that'll be exciting and a good community thing to get involved with if you've got a spare free time and at the side of this habitat we do end up creating some um some staff stuff some some staff buildings and just the you know the buildings what we need to keep a zoo running um and it is fully self-efficient this zoo as well we have all the power in place we need to and all the water in place um i'm not sure if that was actually like a requirement to for the zoo for everything to be in place and not changed in the settings but i thought i'm going to do it the proper way and the decent way and have everything in place what we need to actually run this zoo as if it was a real like mini zoo and you can see me doing that now just placing in the keeper sort we end up placing in um, other staff facilities like the staff room and and the necessary stuff what we needed you know the, to get the animals in and the quarantine and the vets and and hiring all the staff what we needed to do as well and they're just filling that area out now. Once the first habitat were done, I moved along the path. I kept the actual same path. I did make it thicker. I think it was four meter. I ended up changing it. It was either eight or six. I think it was eight. Again, just so more guests can come in and, and browse the zoo basically and give the guests a bit more freedom to walk without them get, getting stuck because we've probably all experienced that all the guests getting stuck because the path's too narrow so that's all the change but the actual placing of the path i kept the same i wanted to keep most of the things the same as when i first downloaded um, the challenge from the workshop and you can see me here just moving on to the second habitat which is uh, bonobos i believe and we end up creating this like little water fountain feature fall whatever you want to call it at the front again just for a bit more decoration um and and, and to kind of like hide away the um the habitat so you would have to go on this race platform as you can see to the right hand of the screen you have to go on to that and that's our main viewing area for this habitat and that is the only viewing area for this hab that habitat and we do end up um adding some shading as well for our guests you see me just creating a little fence again this fence one of my favorite fences in the game it goes well with pretty much any build and you see me just filling out the area with a load of foliage honestly i know i always say this but foliage really does make or break anything in this game you could have a really but simple you know like habitat add a lot of foliage and it looks expert level and looks absolutely amazing add foliage to your builds guys and girls i can't express to do that enough and you see me doing that quite a lot all around the rocks all behind the rocks again keeping that tropical theme same like desert theme i think we end up adding some um some some gorillas i think yeah gorilla statues around again just making sure it keeps with the theme of a zoo as well because we need to keep keep reminding our guests that they are actually in the zoo and not in the middle of some kind of egyptian desert um and then you can see we just add in the uh, the climbing frames for our um, for our habitat for our animals so they can climb out of the uh, pyramid what was already here and just pulled away some of the pieces so it looks a bit more broken again like i did with the um, at the start with the information kiosk and with the small temple at the start with our first habitat and creating um, rocks so we can put a no barrier through for our habitat as well and then moving on to our actual viewing area and once the viewing area was complete like i said before we had some shading in there um, i might go back and i might change a couple of things and add a couple more details until this build is complete but as you see it now i have not touched it this is this is complete in my eyes but i might tweak it before i actually enter it um, into the competition because the time of this recording obviously um, the competition is over now at the time you're watching it but as i was creating it and recording 
recording for this video, the competition was still live and still wasn't um, a winner was still not announced. So at this point, I don't know if I won the competition, but it's not it's not all about the winning guys and girls. It's all about the taking part, having fun, having a project in, and being part of a community as well. The Planet Zoo community and everyone um, involved in creators and developers is amazing for Planet Zoo. And there's the shading, what I was just talking about being added there, as well as finishing off some of the brickworks um, to complete the build, really. I don't think we actually end up adding any signs um, in this here to tell, um, guess what it is. So maybe that's something what I would go back and change. I'd change um, adding some signs to the habitats, for instance, to make sure all the guests know, you know, it looks more realistic, doesn't it? All the guests know where they're going and what they're getting themselves into. Right, now let's head back to me in real time because I've got a little bit of a confession to make to you. So, here I am in real time and here's the confession. I built more and more and obviously as you can probably see from what you're looking at now, I added a lot more foliage. I also created another habitat for camels, um, but the big boat. I lost the recording. I did record building all this custom fencing, this little area here, which um, facilitates the um, education point and the um, the speaking point. But I lost the footage of me building it. I don't know how. I've searched for it. I cannot find it. So I thought I'll show you around in real time to show you what you've missed. So yeah, this is the last. Um, actually, before this, before I forget. This is our little build here. Now I have previously built this. I have done another video on this, but it just works so well in this mini zoo. And yeah, this is my creation. Um, it's also on the workshop separate to this zoo. If you wish to download it, my workshop link is down below in the description box. And we go in and we've got all um, the exhibits, loads of different exhibits um, here and here on the other side. I've just opened the zoo, so the guests should be coming in as we speak. Yeah, they are, they're coming in slowly, but surely. And yeah, so I've added all this foliage. I've also added this massive waterfall. Um, some toilets and some little alcove areas where we have like seating like here and also little you know vending machines and and little ne necessities what we need um, this was already put in the zoo this like um by paul this donkey ride so i just added we ain't got donkeys so I just had lemurs like it was a kids ride kind of thing yeah i just thought it was somewhat quirky and different and yet yeah, so there's our camels in there we just added a power source there there's the back of our lovely waterfall all the exhibits have been added water treatment and everything we need has to be added here's the, what you've already seen already but it's more completed again just adding more foliage i wanted to add a load of foliage i want it to almost look overgrown and then this area we changed a little bit we made a hole in the middle of this platform put a tree right through the middle of it i just thought it looked pretty unique and different and then stuck the education stuff on the actual tree and our guests seem to be liking it they've got a good view of our um our animals here which can climb all the way up to here where I've put the enrichment items speaking of the devils here they are bonobos yeah and as you can see from here our guests have a lovely view of them and that's pretty much everything I'll zoom out so you can get like the full scale and the full scope and we've ma actually managed to fit right one two three habitats with three different animals and I think there's four or five exhibits as well as two shops. So all the requirements for the competition was met. I hope you enjoyed my entry to this little project and this build. And I hope you enjoyed following along in the process and my thought process of building and creating and transforming something like this. If you did and you want to see more Planet 2 content, feel free to subscribe. Drop a like while you're there. It helps a lot. My name's Adam. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will catch you in the next video.